Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's a deck profile update on my hero deck. So this was third in the poll and I figured, you know what? This should be a good deck to go and update now. Especially when we're getting some new support in a couple of weeks, which I'll try to get my hands on. And if I get my uh, Liquid Man and Sunrise, then for sure I'll easily uh, do an, an immediate update right after. I'm also going to try to see if I can get my hands on Magician Soul, since, you know, it's really good for the Dark Magicians. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty pricey card, so I want to try to get all three with the and try to get them as cheap as I possibly can anyway uh, so with this build I decided to go back and make us a, a few slight minor changes but overall it's still a really fun deck to play I decided to side out super poly this time around and I gotta admit it does make the deck zoom a lot faster especially if you want to go first now the deck is better going second sometimes it just really depends on your matchup so anyway let's go and get started so starting off, got to play three Stratos. It's your main searcher. Searches out all your um, hero cards, and it can also pop cards. Well, pop spells and traps based on however many other heroes you control aside from this card. Uh, two Shadow Mist uh, gives you access to your um, mass change, and she also does a search if she leaves the grave, but you can only choose one effect or the other, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, next, one Solid Soldier. It's still a really excellent card. Um... Uh, I've seen some current builds that have been testing out uh, Liquid Man on YGO Pro or Dueling Book uh, simply because it, it it has the same similar effect where you have to normal summon the card. But with him, you special summon from hand. With Liquid Man, you special summon from the grave. Some people have cut Solid Soldier for Liquid Man. Some people run both. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see in the future to see how it goes. So, yeah. And of course, one Honest Neos. And that pretty much puts an end to the Elemental Hero package. Uh, but Honest Neos is just great overall because, you know, Gives your heroes 2,500 attack points and just enables the OTK strategy. Uh, for Vision Heroes, I'm running th three Ferris, of course. Uh, you also want to you want to see Stratos and Ferris both together. If you have Stratos already, you can search out the Ferris. That way, you know you can go you can just go full on combo and go from there. Next to increase, it's a good extender to gives you instant access to your Vision Hero Violence, which comes to our next card. Violence dumps any hero to the grave. You mostly want to aim for Malicious, but um. Yeah, it also gives you instant access to your polymerization. Now, what's also cool about Ferris is that if you open up with a Malicious, you can discard the Malicious instead and still go from there. And yeah, it just becomes nuts. All right, so for the Destiny Heroes, of course, you got to play three copies of Malicious. Uh, it's your best extender in the entire deck. Uh, I mean, like this card is just nuts. The fact that it's back at three, it's just insane. And also, it's really good as a it's a really good target for your evil hero, or Dusted Gold, or Dark Calling rather. So. Alright, so for my 1-0s, 1 Celestial for draw power, uh, 1 Dynatag, and of course, 1 D-Hero Plasma. Uh, pla some people have cut Plasma, I don't see why. I mean, Plasma is skill drain to your, it's a one-sided skill drain, so... Uh, yeah, you definitely want to main deck this, and I've even seen some builds have cut Destiny Hero Celestial. He's like your best target to burn with Dystopia, so I'm like, yeah, don't cut those. Like, you definitely want to run them at least. And for my last one of, it's going to be Evil Hero at Dust of Gold. If you don't have access to this card, like I said, just wait for Liquid Man and Sunriser. Honestly, it's generally the same thing. It's just like Liquid Man, you know, it's just a good way to access your, uh, to bring back your Shadow Mist if you decide to discard her or pitch her with Foolish Burial, bring her back at Mass Change. And plus with Elemental Hero Sunrise, it just requires two hero monsters of different attributes. And on the turn you summon, you get to add Miracle Fusion, so... They're both, I mean, it's potential, they're potentially going to be much cheaper than the Evil Hero package, but we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Uh, for Hand Traps, I'm only running three copies of Ash. Uh, I've seen some people just cut Hand Traps overall, which honestly I think is fine. I mean, for, for me, like if case if I am forced to go second, I want to see what my opponent's playing. And in case he has something that, that's dire, like let's say Salamangri, Mirage, Stalio, I definitely want to disrupt that. That way he doesn't set up a board against me and so on. So yeah, like Ash is more like my blind second uh, car, so that's the only reason why I'm still running it. All right, so now we're moving on to spells. Playing three copies of Fusion Destiny. This card is busted. Gives you access to your Dystopia and also the fact that it also it's also generally a plus one actually because you get malicious to the grave if you wanted to as well. So yeah, Fusion Destiny. It's definitely nuts. Uh, three mass change, of course. You know, and I managed to get my hands on some super super rares. Uh, just recently, so I'm really happy with that. I decided to bring back E-Call to 3. I was running it at 2 for a while, but um, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and run a third this time around because like, uh, I found a way to kind of like fit in some other strategies with this card, well, with this deck, and 
I definitely want to see my Stratos as soon as I can. And if I happen to open up with a Shadow Mist, I can search out my um, my uh, Solid Soldier just so I can get a free mass change on board. So uh, that's the only reason why I decided to go and bump it back up to three. It also searches out your Honest Neos. Uh, one Rota, of course. A Hero Lifts. Now, if this card can even come back to three, um, that would be nuts. Because like then Liquid Man not only becomes far more consistent, but Solid Soldier as well. So let's hope that uh, Konami gives us a Hero Lifts at least two, you know. You definitely want to see this card. Of course, you got to run the one Dark Calling. It's searchable with a Dusted Gold. Polymerization. I'm trying out this card, Pot of Acquisitiveness, and it's actually worked out. So it's really good for Recursion because the one problem that this deck has is that it lacks uh, Recursion. I mean, I do run Elemental Hero the Shiny, but that's not sometimes that's not always enough. And we don't have, and you know, you will be banishing quite a bit, so... It's a good way to recover your militias um, or your elemental heroes or whatever you need back into your deck, and then you get to draw one card. So, Pot of Acquisitiveness, give it a shot, see how you like it. Uh, next up, One Foolish Barrel. Decided to go and add this in, you know, just to dump, like, if I need to get militias out in the grave already, then that's a good start. Or you can even send a Shadow Mist if you have a way to revive her. That'll work too. And then lastly, one copy of Monster Reborn. So... I figured this was probably like one of my best builds so far. And again, Super Poly's out on the side, so yeah, I figured that that's fine. All right, so moving on to the extra deck. Extra deck is pretty standard. Got to run two copies of Cross Crusader. Uh, lets you revive any Destiny hero, and also you get to tribute a Destiny hero to search out a different hero of a different name. So that's really good. Uh, so it's just a good way to bring back Dystopia if you need to use it for Link material and so on. Uh, running one Wonder Driver uh, lets you recycle your polymerization or your mass change cards. So that comes into clutch whenever you need to. Uh, one extra hero Dread Decimator. You know, it gives uh, just all your hero monsters a power boost, including himself, based on however many heroes you have in the grave. It also does piercing damage. Uh, for my masked heroes, I'm running two Dark Law, uh, one sided Macrocosmo. This is really good against the Orcus, Salad, and the. Uh, well, potentially the Thunder Dragon matchup, but then again, Thunder Dragons do get benefits if they're banished, if they're banished so we got to watch out for that. But if you're going first and you're dealing with Orcus, they're going to have to try to figure out how to get how to out the Dark Law, and if they add, you can banish one random card in their hand. Same thing with the Salad matchup. But if, of course, if you're going second, then and if Orcus go first, that's where it can become a little tricky. So luckily, I do have the side cards needed to deal with that. So yeah, Dark Law definitely something you need to uh, try to get out soon. Uh, one Anki for, you know, also an OTK strategy, destroy a monster in battle, you can search out yet another mass change. Uh, mass TR DN, usually when I uh, play my Solid Soldier, I, I always try to make sure I have a mass change in hand. That way I can dodge cards like Impermanence or Veiler, because if they hit me with that and I have no follow-up, that's where things become a little dangerous. Uh, next one, Mass Hero Blast, just to, you know, bounce back back row, and it's quick effect too, so that's pretty good. Uh, Elemental Hero the Shining. People assume that this deck uh, loses to Nibiru. It really doesn't. Yeah, you can get your your um, you're vulnerable to it, but it doesn't necessarily end your turn. Like the, if you can already set off and you get plenty of searches going on, and with enough recovery, you should be able to play through Nibiru even if it hits you. So that's why I'm running the Elemental Hero of the Shining. The token is a light attribute, so just polymerization with an Elemental Hero. There, you're you're all set, and then you can link off the Shining. Bound, uh, add back two banished elemental heroes back to your hand, so that's really that's just free recursion overall. So like people who say that uh, nobody's playing heroes, they're actually wrong. There's a lot of people, especially around my area, who play heroes. So that's why I'm okay with uh that's why I love playing this deck so much. All right, so moving on, one Destiny hero dangerous, you know, for a fusion Destiny target as well as my main one Dystopia. I go into this every time. Anytime I play heroes, I always go into Dystopia. Like I never. There's never a game where I almost never go into him, so... Uh, yeah, Dystopia is definitely, like, my main, uh... One of my main aces. A one Vision Hero Adoration, which will probably get replaced with, um... Elemental Hero Sunrise. Since, you know, uh, Sunrise is just typically better right now. Well, once it comes out. One Vision Hero Trinity. Uh, your main OTK enabler. Uh, can attack three times. Honestly, this is the card that kind of hits Salad, like, big time. Because, you know, they have no way to beat over it. So, yeah, and the fact that he goes into 5,000 attacking with Honest Neos, it'll just become 7,500. And lastly, one Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Also an expensive card, but again, 
just wait for the Miracle Fusion to, uh, support if you don't have access to the Evil Hero. So there are other budget options you can play, so don't panic. Heroes is, are still playable without the Evil Heroes. Alright, so for the side deck, uh, it's just a pretty standard side deck. I'm running three lands. Yeah, this is mainly how I deal with Orcus and uh, Thunder Dragons, because Thunder Dragons and Orcus are kind of my worst matchups. Also running two copies of Nibiru. I'm opting to play three just to cut the Super Poly, but I'm still debating on that, whether or not I should. I will also have the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon on this side. But against Thunder, you know, they do set up the Colossuses. I can usually, I already know what I could side out for the Super Polys anyway, so... There we go, three Super Poly. Uh, for back row, I'm deal going with Twin Twisters and Red Reboot. So, yeah, I just figured these were the best ones to go with. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile, and be sure to stay tuned for the combo video.